All right. Good morning. Good morning. Hope your Thanksgiving was good. This is Friday, by the way, in case you're watching my, my recording later. Uh, my name is Barry Selby. Welcome to my daily Facebook Live. This is number 176. Yes, 176. An ongoing series of messages from the masculine to inspire the feminine heart. And today's topic, um, this is the thing I was talking about a couple of days ago that I wanted to, I should say, I hinted at a couple of days ago, and we'll get to that today. So before I start, let me introduce myself formally. My name is Barry Selby. I am a passionate champion for the divine feminine, a relationship attraction expert, best-selling author, speaker, and I help strong, successful women find balance in love, life, and business. Not necessarily in that order. <laughs> um, today's topic is the beginning of a new theme I've been dancing with. I was at an event Tuesday night? Tuesday night. And this, in conversation, a friend of mine asked me like, what I did, and I just came out and said, well, I help women get out of the mailbox. I'm like, that was good. So I'm going to use it as a language thing today, but I want to talk to you about it. And that simply is this. Well, I was going to spin it to Black Friday, but I won't do that. Ladies, simply put, you can get, you should, you ought to, I wish you would, get out of the mailbox. It was, I was playing the idea because of the, you know, the email box, but I'm talking about this because, frankly, so many women have been trained, educated, influenced, encouraged, demanded, um, inspired to act like men. And that's what I mean by the mailbox. I mean, it's going to be kind of obvious. I, I trust it to be obvious to you. Um, it's really something I want to talk to because more and women, more women are waking up to so much that's happening in the world with the, with the Me Too campaign and the awakening of this ferocity in women to step up and face their previous attackers and harassers and take their power back. And this I am totally supportive and I encourage them completely. I mean, I've done several broadcasts on the whole hashtag Me Too because I support this very much so. However, however, there's an ad not a caveat, there's an add-on, is that there's a certain pendulum swing that can happen in cultural shifts in transformational, um, the way life transforms, not transformational, wrong word. And part of that simply is this. There's temptation for ladies to take up the role of power from the men who've been deposed. The temptation, though, is they're not doing it the same way the men did. And that is absolutely a mis mistaken approach. Women out there in the business world, maybe not you, but ladies you know, have been very... Um, influenced, is the word I use, to basically do things the way men do. I've talked about this before in other flavors, but I'm going to use this, this mailbox and now the um, tag is the way to go. Watch this. The world is not designed for women to be functional and feminine. It hasn't been, at least in the business world. Let me qualify that. In the business world. There are very few women out there, that, and in fact I know quite a few of them that do, but very few women actually being able to express their feminine work, their feminine um, energy in their work, in business, in life itself. And it's a challenge because the world is designed for men. It was designed by men, for men, to be supportive of men being men, do, do work like men. Too many words men in there, I was getting messy. So women, when you, so many women I know, and women I dated quite a lot too, had to put on this male box, or this male suit, or this male presentation to succeed in the, mess, in the masculine world. And, it w and for many women out there, you've actually been um, stressed, worn out, fatigued, because you've been trying to put on this persona, this mindset, this way of being, that isn't your natural way. And I've talked about this before as well, with me women who, have, who grew up as tomboys, this may be more natural, because acting like the boys was kind of the way that they fit in. Not you, maybe, but somebody you know. And when they grew up to be adults in the business world, it was easy to drop into that mode again to be like one of the boys. Even going out for drinks on Friday night after work and having all these things happen, <clears throat> but it's missing something key, which is, frankly, that these women, maybe not you again, were so caught up in the way of being themselves, sorry, so caught up in the way of being like men, they forgot their feminine heart, they forgot their feminine gifts, they forgot their feminine power, that they were stuck in the mailbox. And it's a trap, it's simple as that. In the business world, you ladies out there, and I'm sure I face this, that to succeed in the business world, you gotta act like the men, otherwise you get harassed, you get abused, you get 
put down by the other man. So you've got to tough it out and become strong and become equal to the men and fight for your place in the business world. And it's, to be blunt, to be honest, it's, it's frustrating because it's, yes, the way you survived, but it's not the way you thrived. And the truth is, more and more now, I think it's time for women to become, well, to collaborate, to support each other in being able to be feminine in the business world. Hmm, a manifesto's coming forward. <laughs> <There's>, <laughs> I just had sit, this hit of idea about this thing of talking about this women out there, you ladies out there, need to be, need to be. I'm encouraging you to stay in touch with each other, to support each other's dreams. I was just thinking about today being Black Friday, the Friday after Thanksgiving, how all these sales are going on. And I, I remember the pictures and the, the videos of, of years ago, probably not so much now with online um, selling, where the women would fight over each other and compete to get the products. Do you realize that it was a man that designed that? It wasn't women. Women don't compete naturally. Women collaborate and cooperate naturally. Sorry, you may have a, hear a cat meowing in the background. That's the stormy one. Can't sing for right now. Um, <laughs> distractions today. Anyway, so my experience has been watching, my, my thought about this is women in the, yes, I know. You can hear him in the background, I'm sure. He thinks I'm talking to him. That's what the problem, the challenge is. Okay, let me get back on track. <clears throat> Stay focused. So, for many women, the, the, say, the, the whole pitching things to get you excited to be competing against other women to win succeed is a trap. Yes, it's a trap. The, stra the strategy that's been used is the way that men worked on helping other men succeed by pushing them in to compete and to, and to be the winner and, and to get the goals. But ladies, when you do the same thing, you lose connection with your feminine. And I don't mean you should stop going for goals. That's not what I'm talking about. I don't mean that you should stop achieving your success in life. Far from it, but I wish you do do that. How you do it, though, is the key. And so what I'm gonna drop here is a couple of ideas I'm thinking of as they come through, because these talks are never scripted or prepared, which is, which is like walking a tightrope. It's like, what's gonna come through today? But so far, so good, 176 of these, I've got plenty of content, it seems. Um, so for you, for you to succeed in the business world, it really is about bringing your feminine gifts with you it's, a, it's about you bringing your feminine strength, key, feminine strength with you to support you and actually um, underpin what you do so that when men don't understand or respect you, you don't take it personally because it's their crap, not yours. Let's be blunt about it. Because the reality is that men have fragile egos. Yes, I'm outing us right now. And so we attack to, def to protect ourselves. And when a woman that steps up to equal us, we get threatened. We feel threatened because we know deep down inside, because so many of us have memories of our mothers being so much stronger because women are stronger, that when a woman steps into our world, we might lose. We might not win. So for many men, the desire to attack or to put on a brave face and like, I'm stronger than she is and she's only a woman, she can't do this though, is bullshit. It's our reaction to fear. Hmm. I wonder how that sits, because that wasn't planned, but it just came through. So play with, these are the ideas I want you to play with. So back to suggestions for women. Being in connection with other business leaders who are female, being, other, being in collaboration with women who really are owning their feminine may be perhaps the safest, strongest, healthiest, most effective route to win your own business. I mean, there are men that, there are men that you can trust. I, I think I'm one of them. But there are also a lot of men out there who don't know how to have, be with you in a way that is honest, supportive, and integrity. So, 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 I'm, well, I'm being called by distractions with the cat looking over my attention, so I'm attempting to stay on track with this message. But I think this is clear enough for you. I'll put it this way. This is just an idea I'm planting. I'm going to talk about this more next week. Maybe over the weekend, we'll see. But I do invite you to put any comments below, questions, reach out to me, because this is a new idea that's literally just like percolating, so I don't know what the content right now, but I wanted to give this a platform to share it out um, to start this conversation. So, I think that is about it. I'm just looking for other things, but it, in case you, okay, behind the scenes. When I do my Facebook Lives, most of the time, I tend to have something to start with that I'm aware of, and then the rest just comes through. And when it ends, I've got to sign off because I haven't anything else to talk about. 
That just happened. <laughs> so in the middle of, this, middle of the sharing, I was like, it just went away. So there's no point fighting it. By the way, just as a quick recap for those people who are just joining me, who haven't watched my broadcast before, this is my daily Facebook Live. I do these once a day, certainly for the last six months now. This is number 176. Yes, 176. I do this every day to inspire, to evoke, to remind, to encourage you, men and women, but mostly women, to live your true selves. Uh, if you want to find out more about my work, you can go to my website. And on my website is a page called The Video Blog, which is where all of these are stored after being on YouTube. Um, you can watch them there. You can also watch them on my YouTube channel, which is Barry Selby, and also on my um, business page on Facebook. I do this daily, which means I'll be back again tomorrow. And if you have any questions, thoughts, or want to get some more input, please reach out to me. Um, and if you, if you have any people you want to share this with, share them with that, share them with that too. I appreciate that. I think that made sense. Thanks for join, joining me. I'm signing off now because I'm just going to play. This cat's been getting my attention for the last, well, since I started this broadcast, you think I'm talking to him. So, excuse me a second. <clears throat> Say hi, Stormy. <laughs> he was definitely getting my attention, so I had to do that just to get, just to stop him from, like, meowing at me. I will catch up with you later. Take care of yourselves, and I'll see you again tomorrow. Bye.